Hello everyone, Scott here. I just got out of Baby Driver on Tuesday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Meh. Um, Baby Driver is by Edgar Wright. It is his latest. It's his first post-Ant-Man project. Uh, he basically had this planned for a long time. Was working on Ant-Man. That fell through, as he put it. He wanted to make a Marvel movie, but Marvel didn't want to make an Edgar Wright movie. He went and pursued this instead. For the record, I love Ant-Man. I would love to see what Edgar Wright's Ant-Man would have been, but really it's Marvel, so who knows how different it really would have been. Um, Baby Driver, though. Full disclosure. Shaun of the Dead, The World's End, and Hot Fuzz, my favorite of the three, are awesome movies. Uh, World's End does a little more goofy sci-fi stuff, which I don't like as much. I'm not nostalgic to the 50s, 60s British sci-fi, but I love action movies, as most know. And the horror movies are kind of an easier thing to pinpoint the tropes of without going too far. So that's why Shaun of the Dead works great. Um, and I love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World as well, for most reasons. Um, Baby Driver, the trailer had me go, huh? Um, first off, the title is frickin' stupid. Um, it, it, it doesn't work, I feel. Um, the character's name is Baby. Um... The, 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 and he's a driver. It, it seems like they, there wasn't enough thought and they stopped early and just kept that title. Which, it, I just don't, I don't like it. Um, main guy who plays him, I forget his name, Anson Edgert, or Ansel Edgert, I think it is. Uh, he's good, he's real, he's quite good. Um, I don't, it's one of those times where you see a guy play a part and then, like, oh, he's really good in that. I can't picture him playing something else yet. I need to see how he is there. Because he was good in this, but this isn't the normal part, so I don't know how it'll translate elsewhere. Kevin Spacey's good, though. Um, John Barenthal is in there briefly. Um, the guy who plays Punisher on Daredevil. John Hamm is great. Eliza Gonzalez, I think, is the name of Darling. She's a lot of fun. And Lily Collins is the waitress, uh, Deborah. She's good, too. And I don't know the name of the guy, but the foster dad, uh, he's great, too. The cast is fun. The cast is well done. Um, and Jamie Foxx, of course, is also in this. Um, it goes in ways that I don't expect, because it's setting up stuff in a certain way, and you figure the characters are going to fall into this type of scenario. But they end up twisting things, and it's different people who are acting on different aspects. Which I like, because it's a criminal element. He's driver. He's a driver for getaways. He's a getaway driver who is just really goddamn good at what he does. And everything has a beat and a moment to it. Uh, he plays songs when he's doing the, the, the job, and it's because he had an audio like a, 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 a tinnitus, I think they said, uh, issue when he was a kid. It was an accident, and he has this constant ringing. So he has earbuds, and he listens. Uh, he knows sign language, and he also uh, can read lips. So they get through things that way. But he's just kind of a savant at driving. And it's good. He, it, it's. I mean, the car chases are really great. The action scenes are okay, but they also seem almost a bit cheapened because of how powerful guns are. And yet, that's good because guns break things when you get to that kind of thing. It's very realistic in that sense of when the matter what's going on, you can just shoot someone and things change. So it worked well. It, it has a good levity in that. Um, some of the characters, it's, they're very Edgar Wright, in a sense, but it, it almost feels like this is a studio version of a Tarantino movie. Now, I don't mean any negative by that. It just has that quirkiness that a Tarantino movie has, but it's a lot more... a lot Not linear, that's not the word. Um, studio? And I know I just said that, but safer, almost? Like, there's no wild, crazy thing over here. It's just... It's still very staying within the same lane, which is an analogy I don't really want to use, but it's driving and it kind of happens to work anyway. But it's very much like it's going this way, and the characters are kind of bouncing off the walls in that. So, yeah. Um, soundtrack is good. I know people are, like, incredible, and people are in love with this movie. It's fine. It's, it's good. I enjoy it, but I'm, I'm, I have no desire to get it on Blu-ray and watch it again. And that's the biggest hallmark for me. I enjoyed seeing it at theater, I enjoyed seeing it with people, but I've seen it now. There you go. Uh, I had no desire to see it. 
Uh, it was simply a matter of, hey, want to go see it? I'm like, yeah, sure, I, I wouldn't mind. I'll, I will go to see that. I'm curious based on the trailer. Stupid name, but all right. And, yeah, so that's that's that one. Um, I do have another movie to review here in a second. Not really reviews, but on that note, uh, guiltypleasurecinema.com, youtube.com slash cyclopscott. That's also on Twitter, and Guilty Pleasure Cinema is on Facebook. That is where all my movie stuff is, all these kind of reviews and such. Um, also, I'm on Letterboxd. It is Cyclops Scott there as well, or just Scott Summerton, you'll find me. Um, I've tried to track every single mo movie I've seen um, on there. So, based on that, I think I gave this three stars, maybe two and a half. And that's the best thing I can do, because when I'm actually sitting there going, mm, what would I give it, that's what comes up. I don't like giving score ratings. The guys I saw it with were giving it like an 8 or an 8.5. I don't think I'd go higher than a 7.5, because an 8 is like, I want to see it again. I don't care to. But it was well done, so 7, 7.5 maybe, but probably in that range out of 10. Um, so in mid-range. I know 3 out of 5 is a lot different than that, but I digress. So thanks for watching this. Do check out my stuff, like I mentioned. Also check it out on Reckless Eating on YouTube and Zion Mainframe Gaming and Jobber Radio. Across all of those formats on YouTube plus JobberRadio.com and so forth, on and on and on. Lots of stuff going on. I know not, not a lot on my own, but I'll tell you right now, I do have about five GPCs written at this moment. At this moment. So, I don't know why I'm being goofy. I just got up. It's, it's early next day, so whatever. Thanks for watching. Got another one to do. See you next time.